This woman has a stunning beauty, but her behavior is unusually low-key. She does not want a man because she has a pretty face and like her. So she uses other people's photos before meeting him in order to test him. The good thing is that this man does not mind her deception because he also hid his rich identity. He didn't know if she was interested in marrying a wealthy man. Julia said she could manage, so the two of them were married directly after their first meeting. Luis is a rich local coffee businessman. He has no faith in love. So he defies his friends to mail order an American bride he has never met. Louise arrives at the pier at the appointed time with a photo in hand to look for her. But he doesn't see her until dawn. Just as he was about to leave, a woman with a raised umbrella arrived. It was Julia, whom he had bought from the United States with a lot of money. Although Julia's face did not match the photo, but Louise fell in love with her from the first moment he saw her. So he didn't care about the other conditions. So they got married the day with the blessing of their friends and family. The two of them danced face to face on the dance floor. Their hormones were burning like lit firewood, but Julia declined Louise's invitation to share a room that night, citing shyness. I will give you as many moments, days, nights as you need. Louise respected his wife's wishes. They spent the rest of the day riding horses or taking walks on the property. He and his wife continued to get to know each other better through communication. Luis confessed that he wanted to marry an American wife because he wanted to escape from the simplicity of the hacienda and experience a new kind of life. And Julia was exactly what he wanted. Luis was completely taken by Julia from the day he met her. Whenever his wife left his sight for a minute, Luis would go into cardiac arrest. Soon after, Julia's sister writes and complains that she is worried because Julia didn't check in with her. Julia didn't want to pay attention to her sister's letter at first because she and her sister did not get along, but she reluctantly wrote back to her sister to reassure Luis. The love struck Luis was completely out of his mind. He even gave Julia access to all his bank accounts. Alan was a bit worried when he saw this. He reminded Luis to distinguish between love and lust. He hopes that Luis will not be overwhelmed by lust and lose his mind. I want to give her everything. I just want to take everything from her. It was obvious that Luis could not listen to anyone's advice now. It wasn't until a private detective found him this day that he became suspicious. The detective said he was sent by Julia's sister and wanted to meet with Julia personally and confirm Julia's personal safety. And a few days later, Julia's sister's personal visit was a complete wake-up call for Luis. The handwriting on the reply letter was not Julia's at all. Luis had clearly fallen for a scary trick. The woman stroked her neck and then raised her eyebrows and smiled lightly. Her beautiful face drew the men's attention. Her husband was accustomed to such tears because he fell in love with Julia from the first moment he saw her. And it was only after their lingering wedding days were over, Luis realized there was something wrong with the wife he married. By the time he got back on the road, Julia had already packed her bags and fled. She left behind her wedding ring and the case that wouldn't open. The case contained the real Julia's photos and clothes. Luis didn't want to give up until this moment. The maid said she never was here. She was married to a dream that stole Luis's soul. Luis immediately knew something was wrong and went to confirm his bank account. Unfortunately, it was still a step too late. All the money in his account had been withdrawn by Julia. But Luis couldn't blame anyone for the way things had turned out. After all, he was the one who voluntarily opened his account to Julia. Julia just left. She took Louise's money and his love with her. Julia robbed the man of his body and his mind. Louise was drunk in a bar when the P.I. approached him again, but he was still defending Julia in front of everyone. He believes that the matter is only about the wife taking her husband's things. Julia had committed a crime, so he wanted the detective to help him find the fake Julia. He said he was willing to spend a lot of money to find out why Julia left. So the detective and Louise went to the ship Julia had been on to investigate. The people on the ship were impressed by the stunning beauty of the fake Julia and the elegance and sophistication of the real Julia. In other words, the real Julia disappeared from the ship and was replaced by the fake Julia. Accordingly, the two of them guessed that the real Julia had probably been murdered. Then they went to Havana, the capital of Cuba. Coincidentally, Luis heard his familiar voice again in the hotel. By now Julia was someone else's fiancé. She was still in the business of cheating. Luis was furious and immediately went back to his room to get his gun and stormed into Julia's room. He grabbed her by the shoulders as she was writing a letter. But Julia didn't seem to be surprised by this. She even offered to put his gun on her chest and told Luis to shoot her right away. Julia explains that she did take Luis's money, but she also gave it to her accomplice. 
to get away from the organization. She wanted to stay and live with Louise, but the discovery and arrival of Julia's sister forced her to leave him. The man grabbed his wife by the neck and slapped her twice, then he pushed her to the ground. He couldn't believe that his beloved wife was a liar, but then he heard the story and his anger subsided. Liar! See? Yes! Yes! Don't you see? Yes! Don't you see? If you stand, I'll breathe without you! So the two of them, who had just resented each other, became inseparable again the next moment. Now she is no longer Julia, but Bonnie, who is also in love. Louise doesn't care what Bonnie did in the past that was illegal. If she is willing to repent then she can start all over again. In the meantime, the police had found Julia's buddy, Bunny, whose whereabouts were unknown, became a fugitive. By this time, Lois was fully on Bunny's side. He was sure that his wife did not kill Julia, so he took Bunny away when the detective wasn't looking. They fled to a nearby port city and prepared to start a new life. However, the detective also followed them all the way here. Lois feared that things were exposed and had to find in excuse to leave. Then he quickly returned home and prepared to take Bonnie again to start the escape road. And the detective is standing at the stairway watching all this. He chokes Luis and hopes that he will come to his senses and give up Bonnie. Luis shoots the detective in the middle of the argument. Bonnie hears the commotion and rushes over to see the astonishing scene. Her affairs are confusing enough on their own. She doesn't want to get Luis involved in that mess again. But she immediately regains her composure after a few minutes and arranges for Louise to buy a train ticket. She stays behind to take the lead. But just as Bonnie was looking at the body, the detective suddenly woke up. It turns out that he had already replaced the bullets in Louise's gun with air bullets. And the reason why he was so concerned about Bonnie's case, it is because he is Bonnie's accomplice. He has been disguised as a detective to follow Bonnie in order to urge her to continue to complete the fraudulent task because he found out that Luis owns an estate and a company in addition to his bank savings. This also means that Luis still has value to be extracted. But Bonnie didn't want to go all like this. She plans to go gambling with Luis in order to escape the control of her accomplice. But the two of them were still a little uncoordinated. After a few games, they didn't win any money but were discovered by the gambler and humiliated. Luis had no choice but to break into his partner's safe. Then he exchanged his company shares for some cash. Luis willingly turned from a wealthy businessman to a fugitive for Bonnie. But things were not as simple as he thought. One day, Bonnie walked into the red light district in a panic. Luis noticed that something was wrong and followed her closely. But then he sees Bonnie and her accomplice getting intimate. The two of them discuss how to kill Luis and leave with the money. Luis knows he's disappointed and frustrated, but he's still not about to leave Bonnie behind. He even shows his love for Bonnie again. He knows Bonnie and loves her. Bonnie is both his first and last love. Luis then voluntarily drank the poison coffee to prove his love. Bonnie's accomplice rushed in immediately when he heard the noise in the house. Bonnie's conscience is now taking Luis out of the back door. But Luis was too weak. Just as they reached the station, the detective caught up with them. Finally, Luis shot the other side again. This time he was no longer acting but hit the detective with a real bullet. That's when the police arrived. Bonnie was trying to get the blame to fall on her. So she fired more shots at the detective in front of everyone. This is also a reply to her love for Luis. I love you, damn it. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. The movie original sin revolves around one thing. That is, love is irresistible. At least in the film, Luis would have considered love to be insignificant. His original demand for his wife was only that she be a woman. It turns out that he made a big mistake. In fact, he is the best love struck man in the world. The only reason he could care less about who was his wife was because he hadn't met Bunny yet. When he fell in love, he rushed to the fire like a blind moth. Not only did he lose his family's money, but he also almost lost his life several times. Of course. His crazy behavior must be based on the unique charm of the female character. Otherwise he gives the audience the feeling that he is not really compelled by love, but a big fool.